In this video, we're going to be looking at another example on how to differentiate using first principle. And the function we're looking at this time is the square root function, f of x is equal to the square root of x minus two. To differentiate from first principle, we're going to need to use the definition f dash x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Here we've got the function f of x is equal to the square root of x minus two. This means that f of x plus h would be equal to the square root of x plus h minus two. Using the definition, f dash x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of the square root of x plus h minus two, that's from here, minus the square root of x minus two, that's f of x, all divided by h. The trick to this one is we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator to the top and bottom. So we're going to multiply by the square root of x plus h minus two plus the square root of x minus two over the same thing, the square root of x plus h minus two plus the square root of x minus two. Now multiplying by this term is essentially multiplying by one. So it doesn't change the expression. However, we can now use the difference of two squares identity and reduce this to the limit as h approaches zero of the square root of x plus h minus two all squared minus the square root of x minus two all squared all over h times the square root of x plus h minus two plus the square root of x minus two. And the square root and the square function will cancel out and this will leave us with the limit as h approaches zero of x plus h minus two minus x plus two. Remember the negative sign will apply to the negative two and convert this to a plus two. And all of this is gonna be over h times the square root of x plus h minus two plus the square root of x minus two. We're now going to collect like terms. Here, the x will cancel out with their negative x here. The minus two and the plus two will also cancel out as well. This then leads us to this being equal to the limit as h approaches zero of h over h times the square root of x plus h minus two plus the square root of x minus two. Now the two h's on the top and the bottom cancels out. And when we sub h is equal to zero here, what we're going to end up with is this being equal to one over two times the square root of x minus two. And this is in fact the derivative of the function f of x is equal to square root of x minus two. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you all in the next video.